we send this thing over in the, as part of the economic support fund for Ukraine. And it's there, as I understand it, to make sure that every government employee in U Ukraine doesn't miss a paycheck, gets paid for an entire year. So billions of dollars to subsidize all kinds of things. It's in addition to paying their, their government workforce, my understanding is that it's also going out in various grants uh, to subsidize everything from clothing stores to people who sell concert tickets for Ukrainians, all while making sure that their budget is fully funded for an entire year. All this is happening while Americans are living paycheck to paycheck and where that paycheck doesn't last very long like it used to because they've got to shell out an additional $1,000 a month every single month and this trend has been ongoing ever since January 20th, 2021, when Joe Biden took office, and not coincidentally, this inflationary cycle steadily became worse and worse. Senator Mike Lee criticizes proposed aid to Ukraine, questioning allocation of funds alongside professors. Concerns arise regarding subsidizing various sectors, such as clothing stores and concert tickets. He emphasizes the need for meticulous scrutiny of government spending, highlighting individual financial hardships and increasing burdens on Americans. Senator Lee argues for a vested interest in the well-being of those facing economic adversity, public apprehensions about government policies, impact on the domestic economy, and citizens' welfare emerge. Post-President Joe Biden's inauguration there's a tendency to attribute economic challenges to specific policy decisions, reflecting widespread criticism of the Biden administration's economic approach.